uh, Karen Chimera. Um, just uh, thought I'd make this clear. Um, first of all, an apology. I wasn't trying to impute any of the views uh, to you that I raised in my previous video that was a response to your question. All the stuff about Nazis and rapes and saturation bombing and things like that were my additions and mine alone. I wasn't trying to say that they reflected your arguments in any way, shape, or form. I thought I'd made that clear in the original video that I made when I was freezing, but apparently I gave the wrong impression. Please accept my apology. None of the misunderstandings that seem to have taken place were deliberate. Um, but ultimately, the question that I'd like to ask is, what is a guilty conscience? I don't want to get into what causes it or what use it is to us. Um, I'm sure that it does has ca have causes and uses, and it might be necessary and might be essential. We built our ethical system in such a way that it may be essential, indispensable. But what is a guilty conscience in terms of value states? Um, treat this as a rhetorical question because that's essentially, I'm just underlining the point that I was attempting to make be at the beginning. Um, I think we know the answer. It's a negative state. It is an undesirable state. It is a deeply unpleasant state to be in, to have a guilty conscience. I think a lot of people strongly underestimate the power of a guilty conscience and what it can do to people. That's the point I was trying to make. Um, it might be necessary, but it's not a nice thing at all. That's all. That's all I wanted to say. Thanks.